Welcome back to JC Motor Garage. So we're in the Honda Civic Turbo. We're on our way to go look at a car. So hopefully everything turns out and we're able to get it. Um, we got a storage lined up for the Integra so we can put that there because it obviously it needs a radiator. So we, before we get in this video, hit that subscribe button and follow us and uh, let's do it. about the right up here huh yeah a lot of weather stripping too this weather stripping all back here how's the interior seats don't look bad seats the center council Yeah, it does, it does need the top right here. Yeah. Needs the water does come down through there. Yeah, it does need it. It does need a new top. It's convertible though. I don't really see a lot of rust, Dad. You don't see a lot of rust? Let's go look and see. From here. It doesn't look too bad. It don't look too bad. It's a little bit of rust, but it don't look too bad. Tires need to be replaced. They look in halfway decent condition. Yeah. Yeah, it needs, it's gonna need some work though, but I don't know. I can't really see up here. Can you see what it looks like up there? I mean, it's a 93, so it's gonna have some rust, but seems to be there. That's some rust right here. That's a little bit of surface rust right here. But, but the paint, the paint looks good. The paint looks good. It needs, it's probably, it's been repainted, you can tell. Yeah, it definitely needs a new top put in it. Needs a weather stripping. That's why he said it, that's why he said it leaks right up here. Cause look at, yeah, right up here. Look at, look at the window. Yeah, it's right here. Why aren't the guys supposed to be here? Doesn't look too bad in the inside. No. Interior looks pretty good. You can go to the junkyard and get a... Lift up the door to see if it needs door pins. No. Okay, hold the door. Mm -hmm. Hold the door. I think it definitely needs the door. Pins. Yeah, it's been repainted. It's blue on the inside here. It's blue on the outside. It's definitely been repainted. But we'll check the floor pan. I mean, if we're gonna put a, if we're gonna put a V8. If we're gonna put a V8 in this thing, huh? Yeah, definitely. 
Yeah. Also needs a little bit of work. I think. It needs another. I don't know if the top. I don't know if the top is electric or not. It is. But yeah. It definitely needs a little bit of work. I wanted to see the back. Is there a console right there? Oh. The uh, carpet uh, wet. It's in our console's right here. It's carpet wet. And it's damp. It's damp. It's probably because of this right back here. Yeah. It definitely needs a new top. Yeah. Needs a new top. But, I mean, for... For being... How many years old? Something like this. Old? Yeah. Let's go check the other side. Here, close that door. Close that door. Let's check the other side. Is that one unlocked? Yep. Yeah, but definitely needs door seals. Definitely needs door seals yeah. here. This right here. Huh? Yeah, look at that. Definitely needs uh, speakers. A, a speaker cover. Yeah. Up the, up the seat don't look too bad. Floor pans. See, it needs it needs weather stripping right through here. See, it all needs all new weather stripping. Yeah, seems like they're pretty much intact. Uh, they look good. Let's check underneath real quick. Yeah, it's got a it's got an oil leak. It's got an oil leak. Transmission looks fine. Exhaust looks fine. Drive shaft looks good. Yep, both the floor pans are still there. So that looks good. So that I can see from the back here. Yeah. As far as the body, I think it's in really good shape. Needs a little more mechanic work, but that's what we bought it for, right? There's a thing in there. Yes, it has a hood latch. Yes, it has a hood latch. Here, get the get the um prop. Oh, prop right here. Right here. Yeah, right there is good. Okay, new battery. That looks good. There's a solenoid. That looks good. We should have brought something to check the oil. Where's the dip? Belt. Belt looks Where's good. The dip stick at? Right back here. No, that's the trans. No, the yellow is the, is the oil. Are you yeah, sure? Mine. Huh? So mine was back there. Yeah. Transmission dips Let's see what the radiator fluid looks like. Let's see if we need to get some. I'm gonna go stop by it definitely needs a radiator flush. Radiator flush. Don't look too bad. It doesn't look bad either. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like there's any, uh, I want to check the oil and make sure there's no stuff in it. No coolant like the Integra. <laughs> where's the, where's the I told you where it was. This is the, this is the trans back here. Oh, trans, look at the trans color. Here's the, um, oil. Look at the trans color. It's still red. Needs a, needs a valve cover. Needs a valve cover gasket. Brand new plugs. But, yeah, brand new plugs. Don't look too bad. Just the top, pretty much, and, and a little bit of the interior. Generator. The alternator? Yeah. Looks like it's a little bit. But the belt looks good. It doesn't have a serpentine belt. It does have AC, but he said it doesn't work. The last time we'll get this it. was changed. This one timing. The, yeah. The, the timing chain or um, It's a belt. Yeah. How does it look? Uh, it don't look right now. It don't look too bad. So it looks like it's been changed. Okay. So the radiator fluid or the transmission looks good. Engine oil looks good. Was there anything on there? No. No? It was golden. No, it looked good? Okay. It was golden. Yeah, probably needs a pan. Probably needs an oil pan. But I mean, if this thing goes out, you know what's going in there? Case swap. Case swap? No. We're not case swapping a Mustang. We're going to put a either a 5.0 or a 
or something like that in it. Yeah, definitely needs, factories needs, factories. needs new headlights, right? It needs factories. Yeah, those are those are bad. Those are bad. I want to hear it start up. So, all right, we're waiting for the guy to show up. So as soon as he gets here, we'll start it up, and we'll see. And then we'll put the top down. We'll see how that works and everything. Um, yeah. Just a new, just a new seal here. The top looks. Top looks in decent shape for the top, so that's good. Up here, we just need to check that. We'll probably get a new top for it. Um, Are you driving the car here? Look at the windshield wiper. Don't use the windshield wipers. It needs a new windshield wiper. Yeah, it definitely needs a new windshield wiper. This looks good. This just need painted. Where's the windshield cracked at? Oh, over there? Yeah, I see it over there. Yeah. Besides that, I think it looks in I think it looks in decent shape for being uh for being repainted. I don't know if this is I don't know what this is. It's probably just probably just overspray. It doesn't look too bad. So it needs some tires, it needs a new top, it needs some weather stripping. Yeah. Yeah, you can see they're dry rotted. Yeah, definitely dry rotted. What do you think? You like it? All right. We'll wait for him to show up. He's here. So we'll get the keys. We'll start it up. We'll see what it sounds like. He is turning. Oh, you got to use the... Oh, okay. Yeah, use the other. Got to use the other key. Turn the steering wheel, it's an older car. There we go. Windows work? Check the windows. Okay, what about the top? You said the top was... Yeah. Okay, let's close it. Let's pull it up. Back windows work too. Oh, for the back windows. Oh, okay. What the back windows? The back windows. They were when I first bought it, they went down, you know, and then they just stopped working. Which I guess they just switched over there. Okay. the gauge and everything's working on it. So you said the check engine lights on, do you know why or no? Trans look good. Yeah. Engine look good. Floor pans look good on it. You wanna go drive it down the road? Yeah, let's go. Go ahead. You let me know. You let me know. I got Emily in here. Just go. All right. Corey's gonna go drive it, and then uh, we're very right. So we just got back from looking at the 93 Mustang LX. It's a four cylinder automatic. It's got the convertible top, needs a convertible top. Um, it needs some other issues fixed. The hood wouldn't close, so we couldn't drive it home. Uh, he's trying to figure out the title issue for us. So stay tuned, see if we get it. Hit that post notifications, hit that subscribe button. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at JC Motor Garage. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next flip car. And we'll see you next time on JC Motor Garage.